Hola, hola, buenas noches. Good night, teacher. Good, good evening. ¿Cómo están? ¿Todo bien? Sí, no, tal vez. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estamos, Ticha? ¿Todo bien? ¿Escucha bien? ¿Todo bien? Sí, yo escucho muy bien. Pero solo estoy agregando una imagen. Vamos a ver si se agregó para ponerlo de background. No se ve tan mal, ¿verdad? Pero hay que poner... Una imagen especial de inglés corporativo. Quiero ver si puedo seleccionarla. Bueno, en el camino veré si la puedo ingresar. Por el momento creo que todos estamos bien. Bueno, voy a dar unas indicaciones en lo que se unen los demás. Sean todos bienvenidos. Eh, con respecto a la cámara, es un requisito que todos la tengamos encendida. Si sí pueden observar, eh, todos tenemos un icono bajo nuestros nombres del micrófono. Entonces, si no lo estamos utilizando, por favor... Eh, pongámoslo en mute, ¿verdad? Para que el que esté participando no tenga ningún error. Y si necesitan participar, pues simplemente solo levantan la mano. Muy bien. ¿Alguna pregunta, duda que tengan? Quiero ver si ahora sí se puede. Sí, se pudo. <ríe> Vaya. Eh, Pueden ver el, el, el background. Sí, ¿verdad? La imagen que puse. Sí, sí se puede ver. Eso, vaya, ya se ve más bonita. De, realmente no se veía mal, ¿verdad? Con la pared se ve bastante colorida, pero um, igual, es mejor tenerla de inglés corporativo. Vaya, entonces eh, les decía que si van a participar... Levanten el icono de su mano y pues yo con gusto les voy a dar eh, pase para que ustedes puedan hablar. Eh, hablando de algunas eh, recomendaciones, quiero compartirles la, compu eh, la pantalla de la computadora para que puedan ver la información que quiero mostrarles. Y cuando la puedan ver, me lo hacen saber, por favor. Me dicen sí, no. Sí, teacher. Ok, perfecto. Vaya, voy a ser breve con esta información porque eh, quiero que avancemos con... Con la clase, ¿verdad? No me quiero tomar mucho tiempo. Sin embargo, quiero presentarme porque es primer día. Eh, ahí tiene mi nombre, Douglas Alvarado. Co soy licenciado en el idioma inglés. Tengo experiencia de siete años trabajando en diferentes instituciones privadas. Y más de 13 años en el área de call center. Soy facilitador del idioma inglés desde el 2016. Tareas y evaluaciones. Es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Como punto número dos, las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma y se recomienda trabajar en ellas justo después de cada clase. También, si usted ya se sabe más de algún tema que está en la plataforma, puede avanzar. No hay ningún inconveniente. 
Punto número tres. Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completos antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es enviado a Insafor semanalmente. El punto número cuatro dice que el material de apoyo será compartido a criterio del profesor en formato digital. Es decir, yo siempre voy a traer una eh, presentación para que ustedes puedan reforzar los temas. Es decir, les traeré material de refuerzo para que ustedes puedan entender o comprender mejor los temas. Quisiera saber si con la información que les he brindado hasta el momento tienen alguna pregunta o alguna duda. Sí. No, ok, perfecto. Muy bien. En la primera semana trataremos, sí, Vicente. Buenas noches, teacher. Acabo de conectarme, perdón, este, estaba escuchando ahí, pero ahorita todo está bien. Perfecto. Gracias, teacher. Mucho gusto. Un gusto. Bueno, para los que se acaban de conectar, me pueden llamar Douglas. Ese es mi nombre. Ok, perfecto. Gracias, teacher. Ok, con gusto. Eh, les mencionaba que en la primera semana voy a tratar de eh, cubrir la unidad 1 y la unidad 2. ¿Ok? Y eso significa que ustedes también en la plataforma deberían o tienen que cubrir la, la unidad 1 y la unidad 2. Luego... En la semana 2 cubriremos la sección 1 y el midterm. En la semana en la semana 3 la sección 4 y la última semana la sección 5 y el examen final que les aparece ahí en la plataforma. Continuando Eh, antes de pasarme a la siguiente slide, ¿tienen alguna pregunta con, con las secciones? Sección 1 y 2, sección 3, 4 no y 5. Ok. No questions. No questions. Vaya. Normas de convivencia. Déjenme subirlo un poquito más arriba. Normas de convivencia. Es importante, como les mencionaba, como primer punto, el botón de silencio. ¿Por qué es importante? Porque si la otra persona está hablando o si alguien está hablando, no lo interrumpimos. Si no estamos utilizando el micrófono, lo ponemos en silencio. ¿Ok? En este grupo no hay lista de asistencia. Automáticamente el sistema o la plataforma de Zoom, eh, como se graban las clases, ahí aparece quienes estuvieron conectados y quienes no. Quiero que aparezcan con su nombre completo para poderlos conocer e identificarlos. También es recomendado tener la cámara encendida. Si usted por A o B razón no le sirve la cámara, no le funciona, le está dando error, háganmelo saber. Por ejemplo, algunos dicen, teacher, yo en ese momento no puedo conectar, no puedo encender la cámara porque aún estoy en el trabajo. O no me funciona, etc. Pero háganmelo saber para no estarles... Eh, haciendo hincapié que tienen que encenderlo les voy a pedir por favor una participación activa ¿sí? ¿por qué? porque de esa forma todos nos vamos a sentir cómodos vamos a participar, vamos a entender y se va a sentir amena la clase no se va a sentir aburrida el siguiente punto el uso de chats recuerden que quienes ya se agregaron al al Grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Ya todos están agregados? Sí. Ok. ¿Vicente? Yo, yo todavía no, teacher. Yo Vaya. tampoco. ¿Pero ya les pasaron el link o necesitan que se los pase? Uh, no, sí. Si fuese posible, no lo, lo pase. Por Vaya. favor. Bueno, ok. Recuerden que tenemos el chat de Zoom y también tenemos el chat de, eh, de WhatsApp. Tenemos el, el chat de Zoom y el chat de, de WhatsApp. Eh, 
El siguiente punto, levantar la mano, así como lo ha estado haciendo Vicente, cada vez que usted quiera participar, para eh, que no se haga desorden, porque si todos queremos hablar a la misma vez, se va a escuchar un solo desorden. Eh, y como decía, siempre mantener el respeto, ¿verdad? Por favor, si alguien se equivoca o no entiende o le cuesta, no nos burlemos. ¿Verdad? Todos hemos pasado, algunos tienen más conocimiento que otros, yo lo sé porque fui estudiante. Entonces tratemos la manera de ser lo más respetuoso posible. ¿Ok? Continuando con la siguiente slide, dice que la asistencia tiene que ser al 80% de las clases. Sí, Carlos. Una consultita nada más, solo para estar claro. El, el curso este, ¿qué, ¿qué número es? Dijo. Tengo entendido que es intermedio 1, si no me equivoco. Oh, ok. ok, excelente. ¿Estoy en Gracias. lo correcto? ¿Todos coinciden sí, conmigo? Tica. Ok. Sí, intermedio 1. Perfecto. Luego dice avance y desarrollo de la plataforma de aprendizaje. El inicio es ahora, 14 de agosto de 2023. Los, el horario establecido es de 8 a 9. ¿okay? Puede que les dé dos o tres minutos después de la clase, después de, la, de las 9, para que tenga alguna pregunta, alguna duda o algo que usted desee decir. Tener la cámara encendida. Luego el siguiente punto, la duración de cada clase son de 60 minutos. Los últimos dos puntos, trabajar ejercicios en plataforma de la clase, según los temas que vayan viendo. Al final, pues, eh, si no me equivoco, automáticamente tienen su diploma. ¿Preguntas, dudas que tengan? ¿O todo claro? No questions, teacher. No questions, vaya. Entonces... Quiero, por favor, que eh, mantengamos la clase en inglés lo más que podamos, ¿ok? Si hay algo que usted no entiende, ¿sí, Carlos? Eh, nuevamente una consultita. Este, uh -huh. Yo estoy en el intermedio, pero eh, no estoy agregado al chat de intermedio, sino que aparezco en el chat de, de nivel principiante. Mm. Okay. Que nos comparta el, el, el link para poderme yo agregar al, al, al de WhatsApp, por favor. Sí, y, y si me vos... puede repetir su nombre nuevamente para, para guardarlo. Eh, Douglas. Douglas, ok, uh -huh. Douglas. Muchísimas gracias. Con gusto. Vaya, espérenme, ahorita se los comparto el grupo de WhatsApp. Ok, ahí está el link, solo se unen, ahí dice unirse y eso es todo. Una última consulta, este, uh -huh. yo aparezco también en la plataforma en nivel principiante, ¿cómo puedo migrar y hacer eso para intermedio? Porque no sé por qué se dio el, el error ahí. El link, cuando yo lo registré, me apareció... Vaya, en, en, en este caso ya es, ya eso sería como, podemos tomarlo como un... Error, uh, no sé, pueda que de sistema o coordinación. Uh -huh. eh, tendrías que escribir, como ya te mandé el link, para, okay. para que te unas al grupo de WhatsApp. Escribí ahí en el, en el WhatsApp. Ahí están los administradores y, de, y pedí que te, que te cambien, que te modifiquen. Ellos sabrán qué hacer. Porque ya cosas administrativas sí ya sería con coordinación. Excelente, gracias. Uh -huh. Con gusto. Vicente. Estás en mute, Vicente. <risa> Sorry. Uh -huh. uh, teacher, yo ahorita estoy en mi trabajo, así que seguramente que voy a estar ahí un poco intermitente en mi, en mi participación. Uh -huh. Ok. Pero solo hoy, ya, ya, lo siguiente, ya voy a estar activo. Vaya. Eh, Giovanni, Sandra, Jenny, 
eh, Lourdes Martínez, Jennifer Dorat y Edgar Mauricio, enciendan las cámaras, por favor. Si por algo de razón eh, no las pueden encender, háganmelo saber, por favor. Eh, gracias, Jennifer y Lourdes. Vaya, como les mencionaba, mantengámonos en inglés. Normalmente siempre eh, trato que las clases sean así, desde inicio hasta final. Hoy porque tendría que, tenía que hacer la pequeña introducción, lo hemos hecho en español, ¿ok? Ok. Y we are going to move to the English language because uh, that's what you are learning now, all right? And right. we're going to start with the first topic on the platform. And let me go ahead and share my computer screen just in case you don't understand something or if there is something that is not clear for you, raise your hand, let me know, and then I can go ahead and explain to you or repeat the information, all right? Eh, okay, Giovanni, you you're welcome. It says, buenas noches, me encuentro en el trabajo, todavía no... No, esa razón no puedo encender la cámara. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Giovanni, for letting me know. Already. Now, let me go ahead and share my computer screen. Once you can see it, just let me know. All right. Okay. Awesome. And let's see. I think I had that. Okay. This one, I don't need it. And. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. No, I cannot see. Let Sorry. me try one more time. Okay. okay. How about now? Can you see it? Yeah, your picture. <laughs> yes. Alrighty. There you have my picture Alrighty. as well. Yeah. Okay. So I need a volunteer. Raise your hand if you want to participate. I need I need you to read the lesson objective for this class. Who's ready? Vicente, thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, in this session, participants will listen to a conversation about a city where adverbs before adjective are used. Okay. Great. Um, let me go ahead and move to the next a slide and you will be able to listen to a video. You're going to watch and listen to a video. And today's topic is going to be basically related to adjectives and adverbs, or if you want to say it the other way around, that's going to be adverbs and adjectives, okay? That's basically our main topic for today's lesson. But now let me go ahead and play the video. If you can listen to the video, just let me know. I think it's loading right now. Once you can listen to the video, please let me know. No yet, teacher. Not yet? No. Hi, welcome oh, to the there you go. section. Oh, now it's good. Yeah, ready. Watch and listen to a conversation about a city where adverbs before adjectives are used. As soon as you listen to it, I want you to play it again and practice the conversation with a friend or a relative. So where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow, I've heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Is it expensive? There? No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Great. So let me go ahead and share the conversation to the chat. You will be able to see it right there, and I need you to practice this conversation, I need two volunteers. Who's ready? Carlos, I have Carlos. Another one. Mm 
Me, teacher. All right. So I have Carlos and Vicente. Go yes. ahead. Thank you. Okay. I send, uh -huh. I send the conversation to the chat. You will be able to see it right there. Yeah. Who, Who will the... begin? Who's going to begin? You decide. I can. All right. Okay. I will be Eric. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go, go ahead. So, where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow. I heard that's a really nice city. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. The new weather is. Um, uh, so, sorry. The weather is great. Um, there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Is it is expensive there? No, it's not a very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. 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 Uh, thank you, teacher. It's okay. <laughs> How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not uh, too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Okay. Awesome. Two more volunteers who are ready. Thank you, Vicente. You can turn off your microphone. Okay. I have oh. Maria and I also have, let's see, there was somebody else. Evelyn, you were ready to practice. Would you like to practice or would you give the chance to somebody else? Okay. Edgar, go ahead, please. Maria Jose. Okay. Edgar, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Go ahead. Thank you. Maria, you start. Okay. So, where are you from, Carmen? I am from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow, I've heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it, it, the weather is great and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it is not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too far. Too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. That's it, right? Excuse me, I don't listen. Uh, okay, don't you I'm have sorry. your microphone? Oh, well, yes, I can. Okay, I'm able to talk now. Can you listen to me? Yes. Yes, we yeah, can. Now. All right. So, I was reading the objective. I'm sorry, you were not able to listen to me. It says in this class, participants will. We we'll learn the uses of adverbs before adjectives. Let me go ahead and play the video related to this information. And then I'm going to share with you a PowerPoint presentation in which you will be able to see some examples. It says adverbs before adjectives. There you go. I think it's loading once you can listen to, let me know, please. I think it's Lauren. Let's wait a little bit. Hi, in this video, we will teach you how to use adverbs before adverbs. Can you listen to this lady talking? Yes. 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 Great. Yeah. Let's, let's continue. Adjectives. 
Let's go over the following chart. We'll circle the adverb and underline the adjective to help you identify each. Let's pay attention and don't go as we'll explain the usage as soon as we listen to the audio program. Adverbs before adjectives. San Juan is really nice. It's a really nice city. It's fairly big. It's a fairly big city. It's not very expensive. It's not a very expensive place. It's too noisy and it's too crowded for me. Let us start. An adverb can modify an adjective, giving more emphasis to it. Let's work with the adverb very and put it in a sentence. Her car is very expensive. My brother is very tall. Remember, very is the adverb and expensive is the adjective. So if you want to make a strong statement, you may add an adverb. It is not the same to say her car is expensive than to say her car is very expensive. Now let's talk about this chart. Notice they are organized from the most to the least. We also have the adverb too, which means more than you want, so we usually use it with a negative adjective. Read the following sentence. This dress is too big for me, meaning the dress won't fit me. Now that you have listened to the explanation and the audio program, I want you to make sentences using the adverbs presented in the small chart. Please write them on our discussion box. Write one sentence for each adverb. Remember to use the following structure. X plus is plus adverb plus adjective. Good luck. Okay, thank you. So, since we have already watched the video, we're going to um, practice some sentences related to adverbs. First of all, I would like to ask you some questions. Raise your hands if you know what the meaning of adverbs is. Do you have any idea about adverbs? When do we use adverbs or how do we use adverbs? What's the meaning of adverbs? Yes, Anna. I think you are mute. You're muted. I cannot listen to you. Okay, somebody else. Any idea about adverbs? Yes, no, maybe, perhaps. Vicente? You are muted, I think. Yeah, right. Sorry, teacher. It's okay. Uh, Estamos pendiente con el mute, porfa. Thank you very much. Uh, Albert are compliment of the sentence. Mm, okay. Any other idea? Anna, are you able to talk now? No se escucha, Ana. Tiene que revisar su audio. Vicente, turn your mic, uh, your microphone off. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. I'm going to give you the opportunity later, later on, Ana, to participate. In the meantime, let's go ahead and check with the definition. When do we use adverbs? When do we use adjectives? Okay, so that's very simple. That's very simple. Let me go ahead and share that slide with you. Okay, according to the information we have here, it says that adjectives and adverbs, the difference is that 
adjectives describe a noun. What is the meaning of noun? What do you understand with the word noun? Any idea? Any volunteer? Are you here, guys? Yes. Okay. Uh huh. Do you? What's the meaning of noun? What do you understand by this word? Uh huh. Yes, Vicente. Um. Is um in Spanish with the sustantivo. A noun. Okay. Examples. Can you give me some examples? Uh, a girl, a pirate, criminal of the planet. Okay. A noun can be a person a place, an animal, okay, an object, all right? So that's the meaning of noun. Ana, ahora sí la puedo escuchar. Yeah, okay, thank you. Yes, uh, the noun is a, a, is a pronoun in identify any places, uh, people. persons, animals, mm -hmm. people, people, yes, people. <laughs> that's right, okay. An adjective describe nouns, people, animal, places, objects, okay? And an adverb or adverbs, they describe a verb or adjective and also other verbs, okay? Yes. Is that clear, the, the explanation? If you would like to take notes on your notebooks, go ahead and do it. That's the difference between adverbs and adjectives. Questions so far? Very clear, teacher. Is that clear? Vaya, antes de avanzar, quiero que hagamos algo. Eh, si usted se sabe o tiene la respuesta, levante la mano y responda. Si no la tiene, no se quede callado por pena. Eh, algunos por pena no participan. Por lo menos diga, sí, me lo sé, o teacher, no sé, ¿verdad? Pero no se queden callados. ¿Estamos? Yes. ¿Es that a deal? Yes, teacher. Awesome, Clear. awesome. Yes. Ok, cool. Let's continue. So, adjectives and adverbs, we already have what the difference is, ¿ok? And now, let me go ahead and move to the next slide, and you will be able to see something very important. I want you to take notes about this information because it is going to help you to understand it better. So, in English, we have different types of adverbs. For example, we have adverbs of time, okay? It says when something happens. We also have adverbs of place where something happened. So we have when, okay, where, all right? And we have others of manner. And that answer the, the question, how? How something happened. We also have others of frequency. And it answers the question, how often does something happen? Okay, and we also have adverse of degree. And it answers the question, how much? Okay, is that clear? Question so far? Or can I move on? It's okay. It's all right. Okay, yeah, so. We have the most common ones here. 
adverse of time, place, manner, and frequency. I just gave you like a brief explanation about each of them. However, on the next slide, you will be able to see uh, some examples of adverbs. If you see, it says here, it says, what is an adverb? Uh, let's see, Anna, can you please read it? Read this information over here, please. Okay, an adverb is a word that improves the adjective. Mm -hmm. The verb which relates to place, time, circumstance, etc. Etc. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Etcetera. Yeah. Elwin, uh, can you please read the advert? Oh, what type of advert is this? If it answers the, the question where, what type of advert? Adverts of? Place. Place. Thank place. you. Place. All right. Edwin, read all the adverts, adverts of places. Uh-huh. Edwin, are you here? Okay. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, Vicente. Can I read it? Yes. Okay. First one. There. Mm -hmm. Here. Yes. Inside. Back. Far. Nearby. Indoor. Out. Thank you. Tony Urbina. What type of adverb is this? How? Adverb of? Manner? No, Thank it's you. Uh, time. No. no, don't invent. This is not time. This is not, not an adverb of time. This is an adverb of? Manner. Manner. Yeah. Thank Manor. you. Okay, can you please read then, Tony? Okay, um, fast, slow, slowly, easily, weakly, badly, well, fast, and the last one um, is quietly, I think. Yes, thank you so much. Okay, lower this. Right. What type of adverb is this? Adverb? Of? Adverb? Of? Yes, this adverb describes the time. Time, exactly. time exactly, thank you. Can you please go ahead and read them? Yeah. Today, right. mm -hmm. later, soon, tonight, yes. later, and early. Tonight, yet, then, and early. Oscar, mm -hmm. what type of address is this? Frequency. Oscar. Exactly, right. adverb of frequency, adverse of frequency. Can you please well, read all of them? Me? Yes, thank you. Okay. Always, daily, often, once, usually, yearly, seldom, and rarely. Rarely, awesome. All right. And I also have another person over here, Lorena Manjivar. What type of adverbs are these? Adverbs of? Huh? Night. Uh, fairly, quite, very, Okay, either, please. Almost. Wait a minute. What type of adverb is this? First of all, I want you to understand it first. Adverb of? Oscar, what types of adverbs are these? It may be frequency. Don't exactly. invent. Degree, if I remember. Exactly. Oh, adverbs of degree. Thanks. Thank you. Lorena, can you please read them? I can't hear for the rain. It's all right. Okay, let me go ahead and select somebody else. Luis Ernesto, are you here? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Can you please read the adverse of degree? Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. White. White. Very rare. 
almost just to deploy. Deeply. Deeply. Okay, yes. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you. And there you yeah. have. Yes. And uh, what is the meaning of fairly? Fairly. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Let me go ahead and verify. I'm going to give you a synonym for you to understand it to understand it in English. Okay. Let me go ahead and find some some synonyms. But not as similar to a scare. Let me give you a synonym. Just give me some seconds. Okay, uh, the internet is slowed down. In the meantime, I want you to read uh, some adjectives that we have here as examples. Let's see. Oscar, can you please read them? Well, uh, mm, adjective, uh, mm -hmm. careful, quick, slow, bad. Can I continue? Yes. Well, thanks. Happy, easy, noise, reasonable, incontrollable, reasonable, reasonable incontrollable, good, hard, fast, early, later, please wait a minute, right, wrong. Okay. Albert, oh well. Can I continue? Yes, with the oh. with the adverse. Thank you. Thanks. Albert of manner, carefully, quickly, slowly, badly, happily, easily, noisily, reasonable, incontrollable, reasonable, incontrollable. Well, hard, fast, early, later, right, wrong. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Now, what I want you to do, I'm going to go ahead and share with you a PowerPoint presentation. I mean, a screenshot. Once you can see it right there, just let me know, please. And I want you to complete some sentences. I'm going to give you two minutes for you to be able to complete some sentences. Let me go ahead and stop sharing my computer's screen. Just give me some seconds. Okay. According to the screenshot I sent you, I want you to complete some sentences. Once you have one sentence, go ahead and send it to the chat. Let's use the chat. You can use adverbs of frequency, okay? Of manner, of time, of degree. And once you have it, just let me know, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
How often do you go to the movies? How often? So that's advert of frequency. And fairly, somebody asked about that, uh, that specific advert. Fairly is synonym of sufficient, sufficiently. Is, is it clear? Yes, maybe, perhaps. Okay. Okay, Oscar says, English course is very interesting. Thank you. All right. Do you have English class tonight? All right. My birthday party. My birthday party is later. You can say that. All right. What is the restaurant? When's the test? Okay, excellent. It's always the same with you. Can you speak slowly? You are here already. All right. That is a good place. Okay. Thank you, Lourdes. Any other ideas? Okay, Luis says, where is the post office? Tony, I almost missed this class today. Oh, really? Vicente says, today I'm in my job. Carlos, how fast are you running? Running with double N. Okay, awesome. Is the information clear, guys? In Gotera, it's raining very hard. Oscar, are you from Gotera? San Miguel? Oh, maybe he's having like internet connection problems. Anna says, I don't want to go. Besides, I'm so tired. Oscar, I live in, in Gotera, Morazan. Oh, okay. Carlos, how fast are you running? Okay. Awesome. All right, guys. Um, is the information clear related to adverbs or do you have any doubts? Or no questions at all? Mm. Maria, can you please give me one sentence using adverbs? It can be frequency, degree, um, place, time. Okay, um, uh, sorry. When is your, when is your birthday, maybe? Um, When's your birthday? Okay. When's your birthday? When's your birthday? Okay. Um, that's sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. I think it's raining here in the city I live. Just give me some seconds. Okay. It starts raining here, but I think everything is fine. <laughs> I was looking for my clothes if it is not outside. But anyways, um, so if the information is clear, guys, let's continue with the platform. Just in case you're not able to listen to me, just let me know, all right? I'm going to go ahead and share the computer screen one more time. Once you can see it, just let me know, please. And I'm going to ask somebody to read it, and that's going to be Evelyn. Can you please read? Guys, can you listen to me? 
Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, as I said, it start. It started raining here, and that's the reason why I got that inconvenience. But I'm ready now. No problem. Okay. Oh, how hard it's raining today. Now, let me go ahead and share my computer screen and I need Evelyn to read, let's see, the objectives. Okay, Evelyn, can you please read the instructions? Thank you. Okay, another volunteer. Thank you, Vicente. Instruction in this exercise, you are given some question in order to answer them. You need to choose the correct response, the best suite, the question. Read all the information carefully. Okay, thank you. You're Tony, right. any questions? Start right here. All right, it's okay. Oh, fine. The same, the, the same as the city I live. It's okay. Yeah. All right, so uh, let's see. I'm going to select some of you guys. Let me select. Luis Ernesto, are you here? Uh, yes, teacher. Thank you. Uh, can you please read the question and also select the best answer? Remember that this type of exercise, you will be able to do it on the platform. Okay, and that's going to be alone. Go ahead, please. Okay. okay. What? What they would like? It is an interesting place. Okay. What soul is souls like? Is it an interesting place? And the answer? Not really, it's too small and it is really boring. That's why I move away. Okay. Let's see. Remember that this these are your answers. Uh, lower this. Continue with the second Continue. one. Okay. Do you like your hometown? Why or why not? And the answer is um, um I don't know maybe the second one. Yes, I have. No. Are you sure? No, no. Oh, really? It's yeah. Do you like your hometown? Yeah. The first one, oh, really? It's it's uh, beautiful and very clean. It has a great harbor and beautiful beaches. Yeah. Mm, no. Can somebody else help her? I think this is the last one. Okay, raise your hands, please. Okay, Oscar. Uh, maybe not really. It's too small and it's really boring. That's what I move away. Okay, but we have already selected the first the first sentence. The first question has that answer already. So 
So on the first question, what will be the right answer? Carlos. Yes, uh, I think it's the number number three. Question yes. number one, number three. No, no. Question number one, Seul, for me, it's uh, number one. Oh, okay. really? It's beautiful and very clean. It has great harbor and beautiful beaches. I think in Seoul uh, has uh, beaches. Mm, okay. Vaya, si me ven con el dedo acá en el, en el headset, es para poderlos escuchar mejor porque está cayendo una tormenta súper fuerte. Okay. okay, pero sí les estoy escuchando muy bien. Okay, and the second question, I think is the number three. Yes, uh -huh. it's amazing shopping and the people are pretty friendly. Okay. I think. Remember, Anna, yes. Um, About the second one? Mm -hmm. I think uh, that is uh, maybe all beautiful and very clean. It has a great harbor and beautiful beaches. Okay. Uh, just pay attention to the question. It says, do you like your hometown? Why or why not? We're talking here about your hometown. So. Hometown? Uh-huh. Is a place that I, I born, love something like that. Okay, it's a place where you were born, correct. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. My my hometown is San Salvador, <laughs> for that like reason. Your city. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, do you like the hometown? And this one, I believe, is the right oh, okay. answer. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's move on it's to the question number three. Edgar, can you please read it and answer it? Okay. What Sydney like? I have never been there. Mm. Uh huh. Jennifer. Jennifer. No te escucho, creo que estás en silencio. Okay, Vicente, thank you. I guess the first one. Uh -huh. oh, really? It's beautiful and very clean. It has yes, a great harbor and beautiful beach. Oh, really? It's beautiful and very clean. It has a great Harbor and beautiful beaches. Okay, let's continue yeah, right. with the the last one. I need a volunteer. Who's ready? Carlos, go ahead. Okay. Have Have you ever been to Sao Paulo? Mm -hmm. uh, I think is the number. I think it's the Sao Paulo has a, a beaches too. <laughs> I think uh, I can. Can I choose the number one again? Okay. Now let's see the answer. You are just guessing, actually. Okay. Okay. Number one oh, no. is incorrect. <laughs> we failed. Remember that you need to complete those exercises online, and that's going to be alone. It says, what souls like? It's an interesting place. Is it an interesting place? I would say, yes, it has amazing shopping and the people are pretty friendly. Do you agree? Yes. Yes, I agree. Yes, yes. I agree. The number two. 
Do you like your hometown? Why or why not? I would say not really. It's too small and it's really boring. That's why I moved away. The number three is correct, but not the number four. It says, have you ever been to Sao Paulo? I would say, yes, I have. Yeah, I it's an extremely large and crowded place, but I love it. It has excellent restaurants. Let me go ahead and check the answer. Yay, <laughs> excellent. Right, we got it we got right. It. <laughs> we got it. All right, so <laughs> remember that you are going to complete those exercises online, all right? Right. Uh, in that in that moment, that's going to be a long. Now, let me see. Let me move to the next lesson objective, and we will be able to complete it, I would say, tomorrow, if it is possible. But let's take advantage of the time, because this week, we need to complete two, uh, two sessions. Lesson objective, it says, in these sessions, participants will know, identify, and use conjunctions, such as and, but, though, and, however. Let's see. And I'm going to give you some information. I'm going to bring some information to matter related to conjunctions that is going to help you out. And that's going to be even much better, all right? But in the meantime, let's go ahead and listen to uh, the video. If you are able to listen to it, just let me know. We are ready. We are ready. It's a big city. It's not too big, though. It's a big city. It's not too big, however. We use AND to connect two positive or two negative ideas. For example, the city is ugly and small. Canada is a big country and very clean. Okay. Chicos, si no estamos utilizando, si no estamos utilizando el micrófono, por favor, pónganle mute porque no se escucha. A lot of noise. I proceed again. This time we'll talk about conjunction. It's raining. But, though, and however. After the explanation, we want you to practice. So please stay with us. Pueden escuchar el video. Yes, teacher. Not really, because I it's a lot of I noise. listen very slowly. Vaya. Le voy a dar play. Apaguen o eh, pongan mute el micrófono, por favor. Hi, nice to see you again. This time we'll talk about conjunctions. We'll talk about and, but, though, and however. After the explanation, we want you to practice. So please stay with us. Conjunctions. It's an exciting city and the weather is nice. It's a big city, but it's not too big. It's a big city. It's not too big though. It's a big city. It's not too big, however. We use AND to connect two positive or two negative ideas. For example, the city is ugly and small. Canada is a big country and very clean. Notice there are two ideas in each sentence which are joined by the conjunction AND. Therefore, we can give more or extra information. Did you notice which punctuation goes before AND? That's right, a comma. Let's talk about the conjunction but. This one connects a positive idea with a negative one, and it goes in the middle of a sentence, and a comma goes before the conjunction as well. Follow me in these examples. The park is clean, but it is very small. 
The food is good, but it is very expensive. We have two conjunctions left, though and however. These two conjunctions are also used to connect a positive idea with a negative one, but they go at the end of the sentence. Take a look. It's a big city. It's not too crowded, though. He's really good looking. He's not nice, however. Can you write one sentence using though and another one using and? Do it in a discussion box. You may follow our examples as a guide. Okay. Vaya, chicos. Nos vamos a quedar hasta acá porque yo sé que la mayoría está teniendo inconveniente, ya sea con la energía, con el internet, etc. Creo que los últimos minutos fue un poco difícil, pero logramos culminar con la, con la sesión número uno. Espero que les haya quedado claro con el uso de los adverbios y los adjetivos. Mañana vamos a seguir con este segundo tema. Les voy a dar un minuto por si tienen alguna pregunta o duda antes que se vaya a ir la luz. No questions, teacher. No questions. Oscar. Yes, no questions. At this moment. Uh, after Oscar. Carlos. Carlos. Okay, Carlos. Ok, todo está en la plataforma, ¿verdad, teacher? Sí. Eh, tome, exacto. Tomen ventaja cuando se está haciendo los ejercicios en grupo, así como lo, lo, lo completamos, porque si se fijaron, ustedes elegían al azar, y no es, no es al azar, porque la plataforma no les va a dar esa oportunidad de estarlos completando. Entonces, tienen que estar seguros de lo que seleccionan. Si se fijaron, yo eh, me fui directamente a la respuesta, porque sí estaba seguro de lo que estaba seleccionando, y al final me tiró las respuestas correctas. Y lo mismo tienen que hacer ustedes con la plataforma. Así que cuando se hagan los ejercicios en grupo, tomen ventaja porque los mismos ejercicios van a hacer ustedes. He entrado. Gracias. Okay. ok. Otra pregunta. Oscar. Bien, gracias. Este, lo voy a hacer en español. Pero, eh, bueno, realmente estamos medio con la cuestión del inglés, pero aquí nos vamos a fortalecer. Y les agradezco, ¿verdad? Pero eh, mi duda iba en ese sentido. Yo creo que eh, con la participación de Carlos, este... Me siento un tanto identificado en el sentido de que entiendo ahorita que hay una plataforma, ¿verdad? Eh, ahora, no sé, en el caso particular no me no he recibido este el enlace uh -huh. o posiblemente no lo he visto, pero me gustaría saber si pueden enviar eh, las credenciales para dicha plataforma, ¿verdad? Por favor. Vaya, una pregunta. Ya estás en el grupo de WhatsApp. Sí, 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 estoy en el grupo de WhatsApp, sí. No, pero en el grupo de inglés corporativo de nosotros, del nivel de intermedio 1. Um, estoy en uno, sí, 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 inglés intermedio 1, sí, sí, me encuentro ahí. Ah, vaya. Eh, sí, dice sí. I1-0189-PM0823. Eh, ok, si estás ahí, escribí en ese mismo grupo que necesitas... Eh, el enlace de la plataforma de hecho creo que aquí lo tengo para mí ya lo voy a compartir rapidito lo único Bien, que, los, calidad, que los, creden los credenciales si no los tengo tenés que pedirlos en el grupo de whatsapp aquí está eh, el link de la plataforma ya con credenciales sí tienen que pedirlos en el grupo ok vaya entonces no les quito más de su tiempo si no han cenado buen provecho and see you tomorrow Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good night.